Well, the idea for briquettes um, came from a trip to Ghana where I saw vast quantities of um, residue such as sawdust um, in piles and I was thinking what could you, else could you do with this. The idea of making banana briquettes in particular um, came from Rwanda on, on a conference there. Um, a guy presented a paper on um, biogas using banana residues um, to make biogas and um, he, he, he was talking about the, the large quantities uh, of, um, of banana waste. In fact, you only use about 10 to 20 percent of the banana. The benefits of Joel's work are that we've come up with something that can be made by anyone in their backyard with uh, no tooling at all really. So you just leave some bananas to rot down, mash them up a little bit and combine them with any dry matter you've got. So no big tooling, no, no heavy presses, no technology at all really. Yep. Yeah, Joel's PhD is very interesting. We, we do a lot of work here. Some of it's very theoretical. Uh, others, we do some work for industry, whereas Joel's is very applied and is going to help people in developing countries, in communities that could really do with some assistance. stove and the, the briquettes in the stove and um, here the mass is decreasing and here we is where we've added another briquette um, into the stove so the mass has increased um, and so you can see that at the moment um, it's about 700 degrees C or 700 oh, 800 degrees C um, w within the fire. There's been loads of interest from all around the world particularly from Africa and Southeast Asia as well. India is the, the world's largest producer of bananas and there's a, a great need for cooking fuel there. 